Okay, so this video was suggested by this web video. Um, I can has muffins 47. You basically told me to do a video on the It's Andrew guy. He also told me to do some stuff on how Mega sucks. I already did a video on Mega sucking. Um, so, yeah, that's about it. So, I'm gonna just show you guys the video that is made by It's Andrew. He called it PS Vito Adrenaline working on 3.63, which is total bullshit. So, um,. Yeah, yeah, so let me just kick PA and I'll show you. I'll show you his video. So he's gonna go open settings. And he's gonna stop settings. Alright, and he's gonna go to system. System information. And he's gonna say, oh, he's gonna put that at the top because he thinks his MAC address is actually useful for something which is actually not. Now my internet is going to shit out and disconnect. Of course it is. I'm going to tell it to reconnect and it's going to take 20 years to do so. But anyway, um, that has happened every single time I've tried to record this video. And I'm not stopping the video again just because my internet wants to be a piece of shit. So. Alright, so after he does that, he's going to open up his home rule and click on Yoko Walker. And then he's going to click on Yoko Walker. And it's just going to show this warning screen, and then it's going to go, Sony Computer Entertainment, and then it's going to boot the PSP XMB. Now, I should note, his video is actually running 3.60, but he has just changed the version string to 3.63, which is very easy to do. Um, it's very easy to do. You can... You can change the version string fairly easily. There are two ways to do it, actually. Um, see, his video is actually on 3.60. That's how he faked it. Um, and I'll show you more proof if it's completely fake in after the video. But, um, yeah, basically, you can use an app called Settings Plus to change the version string. Or you can change it, I believe, in, um, in Henkaku Settings inside Vita Shell. The new Vita shell, um, the one before you press start, and you can get the um, you can get the Vita shell settings or whatever. You can change the um spoofed version to 3.63, and it will just say 3.63 is the version number. So <coughs> yeah, he really hasn't, he really hasn't done anything really. He's just yeah, you saying PS or the Vita shell itself. Anyway, he knows that he can launch PSP games, and for some reason, Rockstar and Nobody and Yogos. Which is really stupid, but whatever. Nice, there's a girl comparing Grand Theft Auto on my PS Vita. Isn't that cool? It's on 3.63, even though it's actually 3.60 if a version string change. Which is not 3.63, because Hancock would still work if you just change the version string to 3.63. What I would like to see him do is turn off the system and then turn it back on, show him activating Tai Hancock on his. F uh, and then open, then try and open the settings app and tell me what it says if you've turned off your system and then turn it back on. With Hancock disabled, um, and so tell me if it still says 3.63 because if it's saying PS, the app won't launch and if it's um, the Vita Show spoof it will just say 3.60 so yeah he's faking this he so is and I'll give you more proof that this is fake later but yeah I'm sorry if you guys aren't actually watching the video because you know I thought at first when I first saw I thought this could be some sort of TNV thing as you just saw just then, he opened the um, Adrenaline menu and exited out of that way, so it's definitely not just some form of TNV. It would be cool if it was some form of TNV. You, I mean, that, that would actually be really cool if he put TNV on 3.6 for you. That, that would be awesome. I mean, they got ALK working, why couldn't they get TNV working? I mean, I'm sure uses the same exploit, but whatever. Um, it's not TNV because he opens up the Adrenaline menu, so... Yeah, screw him. But anyway, now the video is over. I'm gonna show you guys some more proof that this is total bullshit. So if there's comments, whatever, yo, um, I've said a few things. Um, 
but anyway um, as you can see here, this is well, this person has as well as this big progress if true. I hope it gets stable currently on 6.63 likes, huh? First of this person says on 6.63, which is hilarious because that's not even a firmware. And then he says, it's out. Very rare, man. Haha. -ha. I'll make a video in like two hours. Cool, I'll wait. I'm subbed anyway. Haha. -ha. Alright, and I said never made video because you can't. Alright, um, I'll show you right now um, his amazing videos. So, I'll go to his videos page. Okay, he actually uses the advanced channel format, unlike some channels I've seen. Um, by the way, if you don't use the advanced channel format, you're a fucking douchebag. But, um, anyway, as you can see here, we have, um, PSV3 Adrenaline working on 3.63 two months ago. This, two months ago, this, two months ago, blah blah blah. Blah blah blah. blah. And there's nothing else related to Adrenaline. Now you may be wondering if it's this video, I'm pretty sure it's just the easy install. Yo, what's going on for you gaming? Today I'm going to be showing you guys the easy It is easy, easy install. You want to go into the web, do you want to go into the web browser? <coughs> yeah, this is history. just the um... And it should install the Titan copy. Yeah, this is just the easy and install. Once that's done, you want to go down to um... Yeah. Game. This is just the easy install, so <coughs> this is not it. Um, and yes, he's also got his version string change now, <laughs> but so let's see. Um, so yeah, he never even made his video. He said he was going to make in an hour. So it looks like that's his only fake video, though. Every single other one of his looks relatively legit. From what I can tell, I don't want to watch this entire video on camera again because, come on, it's like eight, it's like five more minutes added to this video. But anyway, as you can see up here, he never even released his video on how to actually install. He released a video on the easy install, but apart from that, he hasn't done anything else. He said he was gonna make a video on how to get on 3.63. Easy install is definitely only 3.60. So whatever. Okay, this guy's fake. Anyway, that's it for this video. Thank you for watching. Goodbye.